Do ghosts really exist? Are we alone? Is there life after death? Out of Appalachian Mountains in southwest Virginia, dovetailed on the borders of Kentucky and Tennessee, this is Chasing in Truth, and I'm your host, Sean Graham, I'm live on TalkStream Live, Dark Waters Radio Channel. Also, UPRN 107.7 FM out of New Orleans, and iHeartRadio, and just about any other podcast platform you can think of. You just look up UPRN. And I should be there, but we're live right now. It is September 28th, 2019. It's 7 p 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And tonight, I've got a special treat for you guys. Okay? Uh, tonight, I've got the world-famous <laughs> Dixie Cryptid, Cameron Buckner. Uh, Karen Buckner, or Cameron Buckner, excuse me. The narrator and producer of videos is from uh, Mississippi. Cameron reads Bigfoot and Dogman stories that were given to him by friends and acquaintances and viewers. And on his uh, YouTube site, which uh, he's right at 44,000 followers, right under it, uh, he says, We tell stories about Bigfoot and other cryptids. Some of what you hear will be true. Some will be inspired by true events. So... Tonight on Chasing the Truth, I'm going to welcome Dixie Cryptid. Welcome aboard, Cameron. What's going on, man? Did you say world famous? World famous, might as well. Oh, well, that sounds like, a chick, <laughs> sounds like a chicken brand or something. <laughs> world famous. Well, there you go. If you got a spice rub, you can put on a piece of chicken. That, that might work. <laughs> world famous fried Bigfoot. How about that? Yeah. Well, it looks like uh, we were live on YouTube for just a second, and it looked like we fell out on just a second. Dark Waters just ended the stream just a minute ago. He was telling me he had some issues uh, for the stream, but we'll fix it here in just a second. Now, we're still live on 107.7 FM along with, let's see. If you go to imdarkwaters.com and go into the chat room, which is free to join, we're live over there, too. So, hold on just a second. Let's get in the chat room. And looks like we got a few people in there. Oh, all right. So, Cameron, tell me a little bit about yourself that uh, I didn't cover in that short bio of yours. Oh, there's not much to tell. I'm uh, just, a, just a guy living in Mississippi, and uh, I have a real job in the construction business. I'm actually in the structural steel industry and uh, i have been since i was 16 mm -hmm. um i'm married i have three kids five grandkids and we just have a real happy wonderful family all my three kids are doing great and they just keep popping out those grandkids which i'm happy about um that's about it you know i just live a simple life nothing special and um that's about it. And then we started this YouTube channel, and that's that's added a whole new dimension to my life. So why in the world did you start a YouTube channel about Bigfoot and Dogman and cryptids? And well, <laughs> it really wasn't planned. I uh, It was during a time when I didn't have much work, and I'm always looking for something to do. So, you know, I'm... I'm fidgety. I'm out doing projects in the yard at night. Uh, this was uh, winter was coming on. It was a year ago, actually uh, last week that I did my first video. But I knew winter was coming on, and if I didn't pick up some work soon, I was going to be, you know, going bat crazy. So my wife said, uh, "Well, you know, you love telling stories and writing, and why don't you do a channel and just narrate some stories?" Because I think she had heard some before I hadn't. And I said, you mean like the audio book type uh, narration style? She said, yeah, you'd be good at that. So I thought about it for a couple of weeks and, and, um, and there were a couple of stories that I had heard and I thought, okay, I'll write stories around those. And so I did and I threw up a couple of videos and, and then I started remembering more stories about, and the reason I picked Bigfoot was because those were the stories that had always kind of 
grip me. You know, you hear these stories a lot, actually. I mean, people, you, you, every other person on the street, hey, you, they probably got a Bigfoot story they've either heard or that they've experienced. And um, so I thought it would be interesting. And I had been following the guys at uh, uh, the Bigfoot Outlaws. I had been listening to Bear and Kumbo and all those guys. They had a great show. And so I just thought, okay, well, I'll write some stories about them and narrate them. And I did. And then I thought of a couple more and I did a couple more. And around, I started in September and around the end of November, it was right around Thanksgiving. Um, I just happened to log on to YouTube and my views were, because I wasn't checking it much. I didn't expect it to do anything. Mm -hmm. I was just, uh, just having fun. Am I talking too much? No, you go right ahead. So uh, I looked at the, you know, we have our stats and stuff, and I was checking it about once every two or three days. And, you know, I'd get 50 views or 100 views on a video, and I was happy with that. I was thrilled to death. And then in <laughs> uh, late November, I think it was Thanksgiving weekend, I looked, and, man, my views were spiking, like, out of this world. And I had no idea why it's like, it just didn't make sense to me. So I thought it was a fluke. And so I just, oh, their YouTube's computers are screwed up. So I went to bed and the next morning it had spiked even more and people were clicking the subscribe button. And I thought, wow, this is really real. So I did a couple more stories and then it just kind of gained a little momentum. And I don't know why I still don't know why, but uh, maybe it's because, uh, I don't do this. Uh, how would I say that? You know, a lot of people do YouTube. They get into it because they want to try to make the money or they, uh, want to get known. I don't want to get known. I don't, I'm a bit of an introvert. It, it, you wouldn't know that hearing me, you know, run my mouth here, but if I'm in a group of people, I just kind of stick to myself and I'm, I know how to mingle in a crowd. I'm not a recluse or anything, but I prefer to be alone and, and, or with my family or, or just some buddies. And, but, um, got where I was going with that. You were discussing that you was a little bit of an introvert and you wanted to, you went down that part. I, I'm anyway, an introvert. I'm definitely an introvert. When, I think the be. point is, is that I didn't want to be, well-known or anything like that. And the reason I do it even now uh, is because it's just so much fun on my end. And I have such a nice interaction with um, people who comment, you know, only about five or six percent of people who watch a video on YouTube will comment. And so I'm only talking to, you know, a small percentage of the people who actually watch the videos but mm -hmm. it gives you it gives you a pretty good feel of how people enjoy what you're doing, and that's the that that's what really drives me that people really like it, and and I'm so glad they do, and I still can't figure it out. <laughs> I, I don't think I'll ever figure it out. I was talking to my wife the other day, and her and I both are like, "Can you believe this? Can you just believe this?" And I, we both of us are like, "This is just so crazy." But as long as people enjoy it, um, and even if they don't, I'll probably keep doing it because I, you know, about, I don't know, one out of every 10 videos I do, I'll write a story around something I've heard or something someone's told me. And, uh, that's always fun. So it's, a uh, it's just a good fun experience for me. And I get to, I, I tell you what it's has happened is mm -hmm. the internet has a, reputation for being mean and you know people ganging up on you know other people and there are critical people on youtube but i gotta tell you the people who at least the people who comment i don't know what people are thinking in their homes or in their cars when they're listening but the people who who leave comments or man they're just they're so nice i can't you just can't Somebody asked me, someone left a comment and they said, don't you ever get sick of people saying 
how much they enjoy this and, and what a good job you do at this. And I'm like, uh, no, (laughs) every, anybody that embarks on any endeavor wants to get a pat on the back, you know? And so anyway, it's just, uh, that's kind of how it all started. And it's just been really fun. And you know, YouTube channels have a shelf life. They don't yeah. last forever, and I know that. And this isn't a forever thing. I mean, at some point, Bigfoot is not going to be interesting to people, and the channel will fade away, and mm-hmm. and nothing lasts forever. But while it's going, I'm just going to have fun with it. So that's kind of where I'm at now. Well, we actually have a one, well, a couple good questions for you. First All one. Right. I'm going to tap is Kat Ward from Paranormal Heart Podcast. You know her. She hey, says, Kat. When will he tour Canada and tell his stories live? Say that again. When will he tour Canada and tell his stories live? I don't think I can get a passport. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All those banks I robbed and stuff like that back in my younger days, I don't think I can get a passport. I'm kidding. I- <laughs> I would, but yeah, I would do that. That'd be cool. All right. Uh, next one was, let's see. Since you're into cryptids, what's, uh, are gnomes real by Sister Moon? Sister Moon. Ooh. I really don't know. Don't know. Oh, well, what I, I tell you what I say, though. I think I got a story about, I didn't, it wasn't gnomes. But I got a story about some little people. This was in the UK, and I it was it was so out of this world. I've still got it, and I haven't aired it on a video. But uh, it was kind of like, um, do you remember a movie called Willow? Yeah, I remember Willow. That was you know one, Val Kilmer, Val Kilmer and, and, and the rest of them. You know, yeah. those little those little munchkin guys, that's kind of what the story reminded me of. They were chasing this guy and shooting arrow, little little tiny, like, toothpick arrows at him. And um, I just ne- I never aired this, I, and I may do it, but maybe those are gnomes. I, I don't, I'm not sure I even know what a gnome is. I, that reminds me of a story up in Canada that uh, there is uh, some little people that infested what I was told was a, a haunted reservation over there. And Ooh. they were, these little people would adopt or, or take possession of little kids on the reservation, and they would wind up with a specific hair braid, and everybody in the, in the village would know that they had been possessed by or taken possession of by the little people over there. There was one anecdotal uh, story told that uh, family saw that uh, they, uh, the little people, had uh, started braiding this one little child's hair, a little girl's hair, and the family said no and decided to move off the reservation to parts elsewhere off the reservation. And as they were moving out, and this was, I don't know how many years ago, but uh, they were in the car leaving the reservation, and... It automatic. Uh, well, they were in an accident before they got off the reservation and killed the little girl. Whoa! So, so apparently, gnomes are are not the cute little, well, cute little guard figures you have in your garden. Then, yeah, uh, Steve Stockton. I don't know if you know that fella. Uh, he's thirteen past midnight on the uh, YouTube. He's asked. Uh, ask Dixie, has he ever spent any time in the Smoky Mountains? Um, yeah, a little bit. I've done some hiking up there, and I'm trying to remember the times I've been there or what we did. Did a hike one time, did a little bit of camping, but not any significant time. Hmm. I've been all over the Smoky Mountains. It's a wonderful place, wonderful area, wonderful region, and it stretches on up where I live in uh, southwest Virginia. It's it's amazing 
the mountains. Now we were talking. Oh, be- we were talking beautiful. before uh, about you were a flatland beach person, rather be on the <laughs> beach with beer. Than That's right. Yeah. So, yeah. But uh, yeah. Um, let's see. Well, what's this. funny is uh, my all of my family on my father's side they're Mississippi Alabama people. They're 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 not in the hills of Alabama and North Alabama, but down all my people are from like central Mississippi. And, um, so they're kind of, and then, then a bunch of them in the,